Hello again everybody, I am Kenneth and today is my second day in Cairo, so I'm planning to go down and walk towards Islamic Cairo, see some more of the mosques, the other attractions in that historic area. As I mentioned before, I'm staying in a place called My Hotel, and it's right across the street from the Egyptian Museum. The roof is fine, it's got good air conditioning, good Wi-Fi, the bed is comfortable, so I'm satisfied with the hotel room, no problem. But the building which is located is an example of a building that has not been maintained for a couple of generations. I'll take you on a little tour before we head out and show you what the condition of this building is like. So if you want a real adventure in Cairo, try crossing the streets. All right, the streets are clear, yay. So another short metro ride over to Bab El Sharia, back near Islamic Cairo. At least today I know where I'm going. So I'm gonna walk over to the main gate, Bab El Kutu, go in and explore the interiors of some mosques. bustling, active marketplace I've ever been to in my entire life. Um, it was fascinating, I'm glad I saw it, but I don't know if I want to go through it one more time. But anyway, I can't say I know where I am right now, but I'm just going to walk around and see if I can find my way into Islamic Cairo and voyage, venture into those mosques that I have planned to see today. So I'm very lost again. I passed by a really beautiful mosque. I don't know what its name is. There's no signs in English. It's unfortunately closed. I'm walking around. I don't want to have to resort to getting to the taxi as traffic is impenetrable right now. So that is the Grand Hotel. And actually, I just stumbled upon it by accident. Why is it so important to me? Well, this is where I stayed during my time here four years ago. I stayed there my second night. The first night I was in a really bad hotel, very low quality. I found the Grand Hotel by accident, and it was a pretty good deal overall. So happy to see something familiar for change. So after getting lost, which is what I always seem to do when I travel, I found my way back to Islamic Cairo.
So today what I plan to do is to head over to Old Cairo and take a look at the Coptic Museum and a few Coptic churches. Had a really easy train journey from Sadat Metro. I'm down now by St. George's Greek Orthodox Church. It is really imposing, very beautiful. I want to go inside and see some more of it. So I made my way into the Greek Orthodox Cemetery, and one of the interesting things I find here is that a lot of the tombstones, in addition to having Greek and Arabic inscriptions, also have French inscriptions. What we're going to do now is enter the Coptic Museum here in Old Cairo and it is 100 Egyptian pounds for admission and 50 Egyptian pounds to use a camera. One downside is that the cafeteria is closed and it's such a scorching hot day today that I would love to just get a nice cold bottle of water. So maybe we can find that later. There is so much to see, just not enough time, just so many monuments, so many historical artifacts. Anyway, it is definitely a place I would recommend. So, what I'll do now is just take a walk around Old Cairo, get back to Sadat Metro Station, and see a little bit more of the city. So it was nice, a little bit of hummus, some vegetable soup, cold drink, and came out to 350 Egyptian pounds. So, sterile, nice place to eat, I would recommend it. The Hanging Church is formerly known as St. Virgin Mary's Coptic Orthodox Church, and it is one of the oldest churches in Egypt, and it belongs to the Coptic Orthodox Church of Alexandria. The reason why it's called the Hanging Church is because it is located above a gatehouse of the Babylon Fortress, the Roman fortress in Coptic Cairo, or Old Cairo. Its nave is suspended above a passage. The Hanging Church is dedicated to the Virgin Mary, of course, and contains sanctuaries to her and Saints John the Baptist and George. The church is also notable for having been the site of many Marian apparitions over the years. If you come to Old Cairo, please do yourself a favor and see the Hanging Church. Admission is free. It is beautifully maintained.
So after passing by this little mosque, whose name I was never able to get, I'm going to just walk around and take a look at some of the attractions here in Old Cairo. One of the things that you'll notice when you're walking around Old Cairo is the abundance of rubbish on the streets, as trash collection is highly irregular. So, just by chance, I've stumbled across the Greek Catholic Cemetery. So I've just walked out of what might be the most tranquil place in all of Cairo. So since I got to Cairo, I've been really eager to try Kushari, and I found some cafe here by the cemetery. I'm going to try Kushari for the first time. Kushari is made from rice, macaroni, and lentils, and is Egypt's national dish. So that was not only delicious, but filling, and it came out to 10 to 200 Egyptian pounds. So this wraps up my fourth day of exploring Cairo. Old Cairo is one of the most fascinating quarters in the Egyptian capital. I highly recommend it. I'm coming back here because there's still so much to see. If you enjoyed this video, and I hope you did, please do me a huge favor by clicking like, subscribe, and let others know. I'll be back regularly with new content. Thank you once again for watching.